about to overflow the trap. Okay, we've cleaned the inlet and the outlet. It's the operating level with no water introduced. We're gonna add water right now. The water is able to enter the enter the container easily now. That's good. Now it's not going over. So it should get cabled or jetted on the outlet side. 85%, 90% efficient. It's working good. Nice. Take that. Plan a, we'll schedule a return with a jetting and jetting on the outlet downstream. I'm unsure though. Not sure why that water line has condensate going into it, but well, whatever. There's a clean out. Just temporary to seal the gas until we can get a Fernco, a couple of Fernco's in here. We can open up today and schedule this work for another day. Put an access panel in. Okay, we've cleaned the inlet and the outlet. It's the operating level with no water introduced. We're gonna add water right now. Seal down anymore. The nut doesn't come out of the center. In service, obviously we've got to put a vacuum pump truck at this back door. Um, we got it to about 85% efficiency. And it's working good. All the drains are going down, and it's not overflowing the grease trap now at the outlet of the grease trap. Tech recommends return with vacuum pump truck and jet upstream using the jetter at the grease trap inlet and jet downstream through the outlet of the grease trap just to make sure that we don't have any chunks left behind that are gonna cause problems. And I also recommend cleaning the grease trap at least every two months. Clean it right out to the bottom. And then every six months you should have the drain cleaning situation done. We we'll also have to put two fern co's behind the bread warmer in the wall where we have a temporary repair at the two inch vent riser behind the kitchen sinks or behind the bread warmer in the other galley. <laughs> 